right, so what we're gonna do right now is talk about reverse mortgages and how it works. I want you to have kind of a comprehensive overview of reverse mortgages, that way you can determine whether or not that's something that you want to pursue, all right? So is a reverse mortgage a good idea or a bad idea? That is the subject, all right? And I would not be a true velocity banking consultant if I were to ignore the reverse mortgage. So we need to understand it, all right? The primary thing to understand is that all the financial tools have pros and cons, all right? Strengths and weaknesses. So it's not about if one is bad and one is good. It's about what are the strengths of this financial tool? What are the weaknesses? And what's the right combination that will produce the most dependable, disposable, investable, or retirement income for you? So a reverse mortgage, right, must be considered and should be understood. Having said that, they're not for everyone. Absolutely not. Not everyone needs a reverse mortgage. But real estate wealth is where a lot of people have most of their wealth right now. And this wealth is in the walls of your home. And it's in the form of equity. Now, reverse mortgages in the past have had some negative aspects to them. I mean, some real horror stories, to tell you the truth. But one of the things you need to understand is that the laws have changed. The circumstances have changed. And many of those undesirable aspects of a reverse mortgage, well, they're just no longer there. The reverse mortgage, uh, it's, it's become a powerful, very powerful financial tool that may or may not be something that you want to consider. Now, people feel like having a house paid for free and clear, well, that's the most important thing. But if you're short on income or if you're unsure that your assets are going to last throughout your full retirement, your life and the life of your spouse, then a reverse mortgage can make a very big difference. I mean, think about it. You no longer need to make a payment. That all by itself could be a complete game changer, all right? Or if you have paid off a house, it's just established a line of credit that is guaranteed for you to access. Now, maybe you don't need to use it, but maybe you will. When you understand sequence risk and longevity risk and all the other things that could potentially deplete your assets in retirement, having a reserve in the form of a tax-free line of credit guaranteed by your house can be a very wise thing for you to do. Now, there are some misconceptions, all right? There are some misconceptions. And so today, we're gonna go ahead and clear up some misconceptions and answer some questions that you may have. A lot of times when you hear people say reverse mortgage, people automatically think it's a terrible thing. I mean, it's a horrible thing and it should be avoided at all costs. However, we're gonna dive into that and we're gonna see if that's true. You may hear of people being cast out of their homes or taken out of their homes, that they've been foreclosed on or that they've given up the equity to their home, to the lender, that the lender is gonna take the title to the home, that there won't be any proceeds remaining for any of the heirs in the home, uh, that the loan balance could exceed the value of the home and, and leave them responsible for a deficiency and the loan balance. Have you ever heard that? Listen, all these are misconceptions that have grown over the years in part as a result of people not staying in compliance with the terms of the mortgage, but more than anything, just an overall misconception on what the product is and what it isn't, and what the terms and conditions are and are not. So let's get something crystal clear. A reverse mortgage is just a mortgage. It's a mortgage without a payment. So why would anyone be afraid of a reverse mortgage? People fear reverse mortgages primarily because they don't truly understand it. <laughs> Isn't that the very basis of fear in general? See, it's a loan. 
A reverse mortgage is a loan. It's a loan taken out of 